So this next one, sales efficiency is a huge focus for RevOps. So we're always looking for ways, how can we make sure sales is spending the right time on the right things and we can minimize admin work and we can just make their lives so much easier. So there's a few things that we do around sales efficiency that we use AI for. Again, with call transcripts, we can actually take data from those calls and use that to populate our CRM. Think about things like additional stakeholders that the person might have mentioned on the call, their budget, their timeline, things we might ask reps to manually take note of and add into deal notes, et cetera. We can automate that with AI. Call prep guides and post-call follow-ups. That was one of the first use cases, the most obvious low-hanging fruit, where our reps are having to check a lot of sources to prep for a call. They might want to look at the details of the support tickets this customer has had or their product usage. They might want to check the web to look at what, what types of things this company might be interested in based on what they do. And so what we do is we use AI and Zapier tables to combine all that information into a call prep guide for the day. So they can go in and they can see, this is the customer I'm talking to. Here's the uh, synopsis of this information that's going to inform my call for them. And the structure of that is essentially data intake across recording, support systems, a whole bunch of other sort of data sources, and oh. then combining all of that. And then is the output a doc? Like what, where is the rep consuming that particular piece of information? We've sort of gone back and forth. This has been iterative. We used to have it in a note in HubSpot. And I think we do still have it there. But we also created a Zapier table that the reps prefer, they want to see their list, they, sure. they want to see things in a certain way. Every, everything goes back to like, can we put that in a spreadsheet though? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least it's a Zapier table. Um, sure. And so, uh, so yeah, right now I think we're in a table where there's a column for like company, use cases, support, tech tickets. And then we also have that for the post-call follow-up. I think the post-call follow-up is actually a note in HubSpot where it gives them a suggested email template, suggested next steps based on the call transcript as well. And that's been really useful for them to be able to like have that info at their fingertips and just save time. 